Well, I'm David Pawson. I'm a Bible teacher, and I love teaching the Bible to people. Whenever I'm asked, what's your favorite book in the Bible, I'd say the last one I've studied. And one of the recent ones I've studied is the book of Revelation. And that's a surprise to people. One man said, it either finds you mad or it'll leave you mad. And there's a common idea that it's the most difficult book to understand. It isn't. It's a simple book. And it was written for ordinary people like you and me. It's the scholars who've messed it up and made it so complicated. Actually, it's a very straightforward book. I've even dared to call it a manual for martyrdom because you don't understand this book unless you're suffering as a Christian. It's designed for one purpose and one only, a very practical purpose, for Christians to keep their names in the book of life because your name can be scrubbed out of it. Jesus said that. And we'll only keep it in, not just by being believers, but by being overcomers. I asked a friend of mine recently, how are you? And he said, I'm very well over the circumstances. I thought that's a Christian answer. Most people are under the circumstances, but Christians need to be over on top of the situation. We're going to experience real pressures from inside by way of temptation and from outside by way of persecution. And we didn't need to know how to get out on top of both those pressures. And this book was written to a bunch of five very ordinary little churches in southwest Turkey who were up against the might of Rome and the culture of Greece and all the religions of the Far East that were creeping in. And there they were, these seven little churches struggling to keep going. And it was in that very area that Satan had his headquarters on earth. They were right underneath all that as well. And yet, Jesus was pinning his hopes on those seven little churches that they'd come out on top and that the church would survive. It was a critical area. If the church didn't survive in that area, it would go under everywhere. And so this book was written uh, or given to a man to write while he was in prison because he was a Christian, John. And it's a very wonderful book. It's full of picture language, of course, because it's describing the future. And it completes the whole story of the Bible. Without the book of Revelation, the story would just tail off into nothing. But with the book of Revelation, we have the complete story from the beginning to the end together. And like every good romance, it finishes up with a wedding. And it's uh, the marriage of Jesus to his church, the bride and the bridegroom at last getting together and living happily ever after forever. It's a wonderful book. And therefore, I've written this book, Come With Me Through Revelation. That's going to be one of a series, Come With Me Through One Book After Another of the Bible. It's just a journey together. And I think you'll really enjoy reading it.